When I grew up, I had a very, very close friend. I spent a lot of time at his house for Shabbos. He spent a lot of time by me. Since we're little kids, we have pictures growing up together. And we're going back a very long time when I was a teenager. And he had a, a brother that was off the derech. Now, this is going back about 30 years ago, 35 years ago, before it was fashionable. And his brother, looking back, was very interesting. His brother was really off the derech. And, you know, I, I didn't even really think about it much. But looking back, it was interesting. You know, he, he lived next to the parents in an apartment next door, connected. And um, he had um, girlfriends. He had a motorcycle. Michal Shabbos Befrahesia. Shvarza girlfriends, the whole thing. And they were never, ever Merachikim. He was always a part of the family. It was long hair and all of his craziness and everything. And a couple of years ago, I was in Shul Rosh Hashanah and he happened to daven there with his father. His father was very sick. And I, I spent the whole Rosh Hashanah looking at this guy, this big, huge Balavera. He was there with his yarmulke and his talus. And the whole, the whole davening was taking care of his father turning the pages for his father, singing with his father, Rosh Hashanah davening, saying the words for his father, wiping his father's face, took him to the bathroom. It's unbelievable. You never know, 30, 40 years later, what's going to be. And just recently, this year, his, his, this man was Nifter. And I went to the Shiva, and I went to my friend and to his older brother, this this boy who was the, the bum. And he was telling me how he's... Uh, He's learning Daf Yemi. And he told me, he said, I feel like since I started learning Daf Yemi, and this, this machzer, just a year ago, I feel like that's, my father was like, okay, now I can move on. Like, now I got you back enough. Like, now my father felt like his mission on, on this earth is over. And he sensed, he knew his father loved him so much. His father was such a loving guy before it was fashionable. He was a, a wealthy guy, and usually wealthy people and prominent people, they, it's even harder to do. He didn't, let, he didn't care about anything. He didn't care about any, any money or what it looks like, the neighbors, the friends. Yeah, this is my kid. Showered this kid with tremendous ava, and now he's learning Daf Yemi. And he says, I, f I feel like since I'm learning every day, my father was like, okay, I've done my job here. It means he knew it. He knew how his father... Even in his own mind, he never would have agreed to that 30 years ago that my father's here to take care of me and to set me back on the right path. But now that he's back, he looks at things differently. He realizes my father's mission in life was to take care of me. How did he take care of you? What was the Musser Seder he had with you? Nothing. Tremendous Ava. Never said, I'm going to disown you. Bought him the expensive cars and expensive apartment in the Upper West Side. Lap of luxury. Put him in business. Everything. Treated him like his pride and joy, like his son. And the result is you get everything. You get Bazet Ubaba, took care of his father, Mishamish his father. So many of these kids, they're gonna be the ones taking care of you one day. They have such a heart of gold. So many stories of kids down the road, how they take care and they care for their parents. And he's even learning Dafyaimi. Unbelievable level. Not Stam learning Dafyaimi. He told me he was on vacation in some island somewhere. Brought it, went, traveled with his Gemara on the plane, sitting and learning the daf. Ah, who would have thought 35 years ago that that would do it? What method? Love. Love, tolerance, patience, patience, tefillah, all the good stuff. The five T's, Taira, tefillah, tshuva, tzedakah, tipi.